Hello again everyone, Edwin Learned back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 8th house posited in the 10th house in the natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the 8th house governs sex, death, astrology, occult matters, regeneration, transformation, taxes, um, inheritances, death, and we'll look at the 10th um, house as connected with career matters, um, notoriety, uh, status and recognition, uh, standing in the community. It could also you know, indicate things that are connected with you know, government or, um, or politics even. Anyway, um, one thing is that you know, the 8th house you know, you know, and the 10th, this could represent you know, the, you know, the partner, how this person sees them, um, their sexual partner. You know, sexual partner might be somebody that is, you know, somewhat serious, might come across as undemonstrative, somebody that is very strongly, um, you know, into their career, you know, the career could figure prominently in, um, in his or her life, you know, as far as the, the sexual partner goes. And, um, you know, a person very serious and stern and um, very, um, you know, dedicated, you know, to... Um, to his or her uh, livelihood, it could be somebody that's interested um, in government or um, you know political work. This um, the person that has this placement, you know, might uh, might be a thing where maybe their sexual partner might impact um, their career or play an integral role in his or her career. Uh, could be somebody, you know, that maybe you know, they might get funding from their sexual partner to help, um, you know, help them out in some kind of, you know, business endeavor. Could be somebody, you know, sexual partner might, uh, you know, might know somebody, might have some connections which bolsters this person's um, career prospects. Uh, this could be somebody that goes through um, certain changes, transformations, metamorphosis with, in connection with their career. Um, perhaps in, in notoriety there might be some fluctuations um, connected with this. Um, this person might inject, I guess you could say like um, astrology, occult, metaphysical matters, you know, into their, um, into their career. They might bring their, their probing and investigative ability into their livelihood or, um, or career. Perhaps this person, you know, might do well, um, you know, as like an investigator, you know, for that reason, or somebody that just um, is very interested in, um, you know, researching things extensively in general, and, you know, such as somebody that's in sci uh, scientific research. Uh, this could be a person who, you know, has an inheritance that might um, impact, uh, you know, their career or livelihood. You know, if somebody receives an exorbitant amount of money, you know, that could equal more funding for his or her career. Or, you know, on the other side of the coin, if this person doesn't receive, you know, as much as he or she anticipates, it could, um, it could impact, you know, you know, themselves, you know, in terms of maybe their livelihood ambitions, maybe in more negative manner, not having, you know, maybe the money, for example, to fund, you know, you know, a business for, you know, as an example of that. Um, taxes, you know, some kind of uh, monetary liability. Taxes might, you know, play a role in this person's career. It might come out, you know, um, to the public, you know, on some matter, and it might, you know, impact their credibility uh, with others. This could be somebody, you know, as well that, you know, on the other side of the coin of this person, is somebody that's very dutiful and um, you know and reliable in terms of paying taxes you know this could impact you know their standing with others in their community and you know and helps you know improve their credibility you know towards others now, this could be you know, somebody who's um, you know we, we look at the you know eighth house as um, you know we talked about inheritances, but um, you know, eighth house is connected with with death, and you know, in the most you know literal sense, we could look at this as like you know, it looks like you know, death of career. Now that could be won't be too redundant. It could be fatalistic, but it could be some kind of you know upheavals or change connected with the person's career, 
and it might indicate some termination of one, you know, livelihood or one kind of event, you know, career-related venture, and then, you know, the person might start, you know, something else. You know, it could, um, it could indicate um, that um, we look at, um, you know, the eighth house. Um, you know, this person might have, I guess, you know, look at, you know, figuratively, the, as a life and death, you know, type attitude toward things that are career related things that might even be connected with something you know, you know political or you know government related things they might have you know this might be a person that's very intense you know political views you know there might be changes and upheavals connected with them or it could indicate somebody that has just a very strong single-minded focus uh, connected with their, I guess you could say their their beliefs and their philosophies connected with um, political figures and in politics in general. Um, this could be um, a person that has something uh, where you know uh, you look at um you look at um, eighth house as associated with death, um, perhaps the death of somebody. Chain impacts their career, you know. For example, you know somebody, you know maybe you know, you know dies or something, and this person is second in command at his or her position might you know, and might push them you know you know up higher, or it could be even something like you know somebody, you know figures prominently. Uh, in this person's life, you know passes away might inspire them you know, to greater and better things, or on the negative side, it could indicate, you know, another example where this person, you know, can become despondent and might impact, you know, this person's, um, you know, career aims or affect them on their job, you know, in a more, you know, negative manner, and, you know, maybe for a period this person might not be as productive, and, uh, you know, in his or her work environment. The eighth house is also connected, you know, with manipulation and control, so this person likes, you know, really maybe about controlling um, his or her, um, you know, career and things with the career um, related matters and, uh, you know, things um, that have that impact, you know, the, you know, any kind of accolades or, you know, recognition this person uh, might get um, in life and their standing in their community. There might be a very strong, you know, kind of um, outlook on this and being able to make sure that they can control this and not have, um, you know, somebody else's actions, you know, um, you know, dictate, you know, these um, elements in his or her life. So anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the 8th house posited in the 10th house in the natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 8th house and the 11th house in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.